Today, we have received a support ticket for a user who is complaining about lack of application access. The data center team has confirmed the service is running, and the networking folks have successfully simulated traffic flows to test its reachability from different points in the global network. The enterprise consists of SD access campuses and both on-prem data center and cloud applications that are all connected by Catalyst SD-WAN, utilizing Cisco IIS for network access control. Let's jump into our SIM to continue this investigation by checking on the client devices, the network infra they're attached to, and the security policies they utilize to access the application server. At the overview page, we have easy access to the top threats, policy hits, and issues on the network. We also have visibility into network and security events, such as intrusion detection, advanced malware protection, and unwanted applications that have been detected building additional context from the top security policy hits from Catalyst SD-WAN Manager and top policy hits from ICE. Looking further, we are offered convenient metrics for the total number of active issues in the network and can visualize those issues by priority. With the data provided from Catalyst Center, we can gather health information on our clients and the network. The overall client score is reporting as expected, so let's check the devices page for more troubleshooting context. Here, we're presented with total clients, their health scores, and different endpoint related details. Navigating through the page, we have a useful list of all the endpoint matched profiles and BYOD device enrollments happening in the network. In the device inventory details, we have the power to filter the data based on any field in the table to gain insight into the different IP addresses and network infrastructure associated to the users. We can see that this user has logged in from two separate devices, a Windows 10 workstation and an iPhone, both authenticated wirelessly by the same wireless LAN controller. Taking this information to the Network Insights page, we can search for the WLC by IP to gather relevant network details, such as various device metrics and issues. From the device health events, our WLC is currently reachable with an uptime of 25 days and a health score of 10 out of 10 all signs of a normal functioning device. Continuing our investigation, we navigate to Security Insights, where we're shown malicious files caught, URLs filtered, and various firewall events, such as network trojan or admin privilege escalation detection. From the drop firewall flows widget, we notice the IP address from the user's iPhone. Details from the drop flows show that the traffic utilized the restrictive quarantine device access policy. From here, we can advise the user on the proper steps to improve their device posture to regain access. The Cisco Catalyst app for Splunk enables admins to effectively build actionable context and holistically investigate network and security events.